Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's continue the series of drug information with a drug name called Bosentan, which comes under pharmacological class of endothelin receptor antagonists. As same as previous video, the topic outlines that we are going to learn are the uses, mechanism of action, dosing, pharmacokinetic parameters, adverse reactions, and contraindications. The use of Bosentan is pulmonary arterial hypertension where the blood pressure exerts on the pulmonary artery. Bosentan can be given to adults as well as pediatrics. There is a functional classification described by World Health Organization which classifies the severity of pulmonary arterial hypertension from class 1 to class 4, where 1 being the mild and 4 being the severe. So Bosentan can be given to any class. Coming to pediatrics, Bosentan can be given to any child of greater than or equal to 3 years. Coming to mechanism of action. This is the pictorial representation of pulmonary artery and we could see the markings of endothelial cells and vascular smooth muscle cells. This is where endothelin receptors are present. There are two types of endothelin receptors like ETA and ETB. Bosentan blocks both the receptors but has a higher affinity towards ETA and as a result it produces vasodilation thereby blood pressure in the pulmonary artery decreases. Coming to the doses, doses vary for adults and pediatrics. For adults, if patient weight is less than 40 kg, then can initiate the dose of 62.5 mg BD, which means twice a day, and can maintain the same dose. If patient weight is greater than or equal to 40 kg, then can initiate the dose of 62.5 mg twice a day, and after 4 weeks can increase the dose to 125 mg twice a day. If treatment needs to be discontinued, should decrease the dose to 62.5 mg twice a day for like 3 to 7 days. Coming to pediatrics, if the patient age is less than 12 years, then can initiate the dose of 1 mg per kg per dose twice a day and then can increase to 2 mg per kg per dose twice a day. The maximum dose should be 125 mg per dose. If the patient age is greater than or equal to 12 years, based on weight, the dose can be varied. If the patient weight is 20 to 40 kg, can initiate the dose of 31.25 mg twice a day and can increase to 62.5 mg twice a day. If the patient is above 40 kg, then can initiate the dose of 62.5 mg twice a day and can increase to 125 mg twice a day. In case of kidney impairment, no dosage adjustments are needed. Even in dialysis, percentan is unlikely to be removed because of its higher molecular weight and extensive protein binding. It is the same for pediatrics. Coming to hepatic impairment, Based on child per classification, if patient is mild in severity, that is class A, then no dosage adjustments are needed. Whereas in moderate to severe condition, the use of bosentan should be avoided, which is the same for pediatrics. Coming to pharmacokinetic parameters. The apparent volume of distribution for bosentan is 18 liters. The affinity towards plasma protein binding is 98%, especially primarily towards albumin. Coming to metabolism, Bosentan metabolizes in the liver via CYP450 enzymes such as CYP2C9, CYP3A4 and possibly CYP2C19, producing three metabolites in which one of them is pharmacologically active and may contribute to 10-20% to of total activity of parent drug. The bioavailability of Bosentan is 50%. Off-life is 5 hours and may be prolonged with heart failure. Peak plasma of bosentan attains at 3 to 5 hours. Coming to excretion, bosentan excretes via feces as metabolites and in urine where less than 3% as unchanged drug. Coming to adverse reactions, the reported ones are edema, respiratory tract infections, headache, flushing, hypotension, hepatic impairment and it also decreases the hemoglobin. Coming to contraindications, bosentan should not be given along with cyclosporin which is an immunosuppressant used for preventing organ rejections after organ transplantation and the other one is glyburate which is a sulfonylurea given to treat type 2 diabetes mellitus. These combinations tend to increase the hepatotoxic nature of bosentan. Let's summarize the points. Bosentan is used for pulmonary arterial hypertension in both adults and pediatrics who are greater than or equal to 3 years. Bosentan blocks endothelial receptors like ETA and ETB but has a higher affinity towards ETA and as a result vasodilation will happen which leads to decreased pulmonary arterial hypertension. Dosing depends on various factors like age, weight, 
apatic impairment and kidney impairment coming to pharmacokinetic parameters volume of distribution for bosentan is approximately 18 liters efficiency of plasma protein binding is 98% bioavailability is 50% half life is 5 years time to peak plasma attains at 3 to 5 years coming to metabolism bosentan metabolizes via three enzymes and converts into three metabolites in which one of them is 10 to 20% as potent as parandrep Bosentan excretes via feces as metabolites and in urine less than 3% as unchanged drug. Reported adverse reactions of flushing, headache, hypotension, hepatic impairment, decreased hemoglobin, edema and respiratory tract infections. And the Bosentan should not be given along with cyclosporins and gliburide. Thank you guys for watching this video till the end. See you guys with an interesting topic.